what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of mesh analysis using fascia here we have a circuit with four meshes let's go ahead and create the mesh currents let's call this one i1 and we are going to take everything in the same direction that way it's less complicated so here we are going to let's say this one i2 and let's call this one i3 and let's call this one ib okay now we are going to find all of these currents but here you can already see that two of these currents are already provided this i1 it's already there this is going to be the i1 but this current source is opposite of the direction we took so this is going to be negative sign right so we are going to have i1 is equal to negative 5 angle negative 18 and let's look at this i3 i3 also provided and also the current source is opposite side of the direction we took so this is also going to be negative negative 2 angle 5 and uh, we have two unknown mesh currents we are going to solve them but in order to solve this one we have to create two equations now let's take the top part if we apply kvl for the top part kvl at top let's see what we get so first uh, we have two impedances because in phaser this all of them are impedances i mean all of the this uh, inductance and or capacitance that is impedance right so impedance is treated same as resistance when we have impedance in series we can add them together so we can add these two together and that's going to give us 1 plus 3.8 j and we can multiply this one with ib and this IB current is going through this negative J4. So we are going to have plus IB. And also we have I2 is also going in the opposite direction. So we are going to have negative J4 times IB minus I2. Okay. And that's it. That's going to be equivalent to 0. So this is KVL at top. Let's try to simplify this one. Here we have IB and uh, we have 3.8 jib 3.8 jib and uh, we have negative 4 jib 4 jib and here we have negative 4 j i2 okay that's equal to zero now let's combine the like terms together here we have IB and this is the only real number right because when we have J we, we can only add them with J and also here we have 3.8 J IB and here we have negative 4 J IB and if you subtract this one that's going to give you IB minus 0 0.2 J IB okay and this one is going to just remind my minus 4 J I2 since we have a different current we cannot combine with this one because this is ib this is i2 okay this is equal to zero now this is our first equation also we can write this one as like we can take 1 minus 0 0.2 j and we can multiply this one with ib minus 4 j i2 is equal to zero okay this is let's call this one equation one this is our equation one now we are going to apply kvl in the this bottom part if we apply let's see what we get kvl at bottom so we are going to apply kvl for the bottom part let's start with j4 negative j4 and that's multiplied by i2 and ib is going in the opposite direction so this is going to be minus ib and then it is going through this 2 ohm resistor right in the 2 ohm resistor we have 2 times plus 2 times i2 minus i3 but we already know the i3 value that is negative 2 angle 5 so negative negative that's going to make this one positive positive 2 angle 5 and that's through this one after that if we go through this one this is going through this j2 in j2 let's put plus j2 times i2 and uh, we have i2 but i1 is in the opposite direction right but i1 we already know that is negative 5 minus 18 angle so this is going to be minus minus 
this one that's going to make this one plus plus 5 angle negative 18 and that's equal to 0 now let's try to simplify this one if you multiply this one this is going to become negative 4j i2 and here we are going to have plus 4j ib and this is going to become plus 2i2 and 2 times 2 angle 5 that's going to become 4 angle 5 and here we have j2i2 j2i2 and for the second one like j2 times 5 angle 18 you have to use the complex number calculation using calculator if you do that you will get 10 angle 72 that's equal to 0 let's uh, let's add the like terms together here we have 4 negative 4 j i2 do we have any other j i2 here we have positive 2 j i2 right so we can add these two together that's going to make this one negative 2 j i2 and here we are going to have 4 j i b do we have any 4 j i b we don't have anything so we, we can just put this like this 4 j i b and uh, 2 i2 this is the only term like this right we just put it as it is 2 i2 and here we have 4 angle 5 and 10 angle 72 right so when we have these things we can add them together but let's uh, bring this one in the other side of the equation and that's going to give you if you add them together you're going to get 12.135 in the other side I, I already did this calculation and in the other side this is going to be correct in this way right so 135 angle 125.7 degree okay now let's uh, let's write this one in a better way here we can put 4 jib and here we have negative 2 2 i2 negative 2 j i2 we can combine this combine these two together this is going to be 2 minus 2 j all together i2 and we are going to have this 4 j i b and that's equivalent to this 12.135 angle negative 125.7 degree okay so let's call this one equation 2 now we have two equations with two unknown so you can solve and find ib and i2 right if you solve this one you are going to get ib is equal to 2.73 angle 152.1 and this i2 is going to become 0 0.697 angle negative 129.2 and that's going to be our final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.